talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Every kernel is written using multiple languages. Yeah. At minimum, some assembly is gonna have to happen. C has the stronghold of kernel development, and that's for a good reason. It's basically more human-readable assembly. A good example of a component that really needs assembly for a kernel are context switches. Essentially, we need to save the current registers of the process that's currently running, and the only real way to directly access oh, the registers yeah. is through using assembly. In fact, this is what makes multi-threaded architectures seem like they're actually happening at the same time. For those of you new to low-level systems, yes, only one process can happen per CPU core. Who would have thought? C has an insane amount of granular control. It can write the software component for a DMA controller. Oh, yeah! It can quite literally give you direct access to writing to flash memory or RAM. It can even overwrite your main kernel process and destroy your computer if it Burning really wants to. Your hands up. <laughs> so why do we still live life on the edge and write and assembly in C? Can I do all this in Go instead? This is where we as computer users have evolved to abstract things a yeah. little bit too much. At the end of the day, everything is a one or a zero. No, really. We're used to seeing web servers, AI, self-driving cars, watching unhinged podcasts, being able to check why our poop is green and within seconds, seconds, seconds. I farted in a poopy. To the point that we've completely forgotten what we're actually really working with, which is just ones and zeros. Even C is considered a high level language. Let that sink in. It is still a major abstraction from what it truly is, which is assembly. But then what's assembly? It's also a major abstraction. What it truly is is just electrical signals that flow through your motherboard. And then what are these electrical signals? Fancy light switches. Engineers have made this magic happen, where people who are experts in their own field can essentially just stay in their own field. It's a lot safer to trust your doctor to cut you open than your cousin with a knife and a bucket in your backyard. My Abstraction truly makes things more safe. A good example might be when you want to use something from the kernel, like a system call, but you don't want to tamper with any assembly or memory management or anything crazy like that. But you know these system calls are thoroughly tested, they're specialized APIs, and at this point the safest thing is to not reinvent the wheel and just trust the experts. But there's a wrench in this ideology. What if we're not really relying on experts here? What if this is just tried and true code that what if this is just tried and true code that hasn't been touched in decades? What if we could have something that's so much better, but if we change any of these APIs, suddenly the whole world collapses because no one wants to update their stupid Windows machine? Who has time to completely restart for that? So, back to Go. Go is an island. Should kernels be written like an island? Go has a tightly coupled linker, debugger, garbage collector. And this isn't a bug, it's a feature of the language. The idea of this is Go Runtime can easily figure out exactly how it should be running by configuring everything that's needed for the machine behind the scenes. Talk about self-awareness. It even has its own concurrency model that's highly specialized per Go process that's run. This sounds like a lot of overhead, but if you think about it, that might be a design philosophy that a kernel should be modeled after. This way, if any update happens, it really only relies on itself. And for such low-level systems, it might be a good thing that it's picky with who it talks to. Unlike current popular systems, imagine if kernels are written simply with assembly plus one other language. Go is so easy to use too that you could write a server in literally just one line. Take that, see? Let's be clear here. Go was not made to be a systems language or anything like that. It was actually made to abstract a lot of low-level systems knowledge, to be easy but still safe to use for higher level languages to interact with. Even though Go has a very efficient garbage collector, it's still a garbage collector. It would be a major drawback for writing an entire operating system. You would always have to allocate extra memory and resources for it during Go runtime for every single process. It's not that Go is an amazing language for kernel development. In fact, you might be crazy to use Go without considering other languages first. However, it's under development to be easier to use for low-level scenarios. What my point is, is that we could take from this unique design philosophy, which could be something we can consider for the future of kernel development. It might finally be time that we rethink the kernel a little bit. Thanks for watching.